Here's another video with Crispy Vine, the professional patch band who will spill his trade secrets just for you. Hey, I'm Chris Vine. I'm going to show you how to do patches in your own home. First, here are some tools you'll need to get started. Plastic and masking tape to protect your floors. It's great to have masking dispenser. You'll want a mud pan. I prefer a rounded bottom. Fits better in the hand, allowing for comfort. And a five inch hammer joint knife. This allows you to knock back any loose screws and get the surface nice and smooth. You'll need eight, 12, and 14 inch blue steel taping knives and a little putty knife to mix the mud in your pan. And a little brush to get the dust off your baseboards before masking. Drywallers refer to the vinyl and gypsum paste they use to cover drywall seams as mud. So, a mud pan is just a pan or tray to hold the drywall compound in hand while you work. Right, so here we found the uh, extra piece from the patch. It's going to fit right back in here perfectly. What I'm going to do is do kind of the opposite of the California patch. We're going to make some sort of backing out of nothing. Since the hole is so small, we don't have really a means to stick you know any sort of wood in here or anything like that so this is something that you can do quick and easy in your own home just like this chris refers to a patch using drywall paper peeled back off the piece to overlay on the wall it's a cool method for small holes you can google california patch to see it but chris's method is simpler and much cooler this is an ultra thin mesh tape you can clean it up and it gives you a nice stick Stretch it across the back of your filler, place the filler into the hole, and that's the backing. Easy enough. Let's put four little pieces of ultra thin tape over the top of the edges. Use ultra thin to help you avoid any humps in the final patch. You'll need a two inch putty knife and five minute mud. If you're unskilled, I'd use a 20 minute or 45 minute mud. Calcium carbonate or ground limestone is the main ingredient in drywall compounds. They add talcum to make it sand easily. Yep, it's the same stuff that you put on a baby's butt. At the home improvement store, you'll see various joint compounds, some with working times from five to 90 minutes. The material still takes more time to set, ready for sanding or recoating. So a five minute mud would be ready to recoat in about 15 minutes. Use a 90 minute mud, and you'll have to wait an hour and a half between coats, stretching a small job into the evening. I don't know the chemistry behind it, but regular joint compounds dry and set through evaporation, while hot muds or quick setting compounds cure chemically. Regular drywall compound requires drying overnight. With three coats, your little job becomes a weekend project, but Chris will use a single coat of it later. He'll explain why. Let's get back to the patch. Everything is in the wrist on how you apply this mud just to fill the first coat. We want everything to be nice and tight up against the wall. I'm trying to lessen any edge that we can before making that final swipe. pull two different directions. One so that way the mud goes this way and one for this application. That way it helps uh, lessen any bubbles that this may create. I'm getting my second coat. Notice that by keeping my knife at a low angle and working the edges, I don't need to do any sanding between coats. Hot mud is harder to sand, so try not. On my third coat, I use USG's plus three. It's very light and easy to sand if necessary it will not flash once primed and painted. On that final coat with regular mud, this allows it to be sand free. We pulled every layer as tight as possible. So I mean, it's gonna be just like the wall surface, no humps, no sand. On the next video, I'll show you how to do a bigger patch and have a texture. Well, I hope you found this information useful. You can find my books on home building and remodeling at Amazon. But for now, tell them what to do, Chris. If you like this video, show it, smash that like button, and subscribe for more videos like this one.